reforms that can be brought in connection with parliament. Uh, in the parliament is not working uh, in the way it was supposed to work. The decorum in the parliament is often uh, a question. Uh, the diminishing role of MPs is another question. Uh, sir, do you think that the role of MPs have diminished uh, over the years? I, uh, I think an MP has a very tough job now. Um, what, a ward, what a ward member was supposed to be do, doing is now expected of the member of parliament. And the member of parliament was supposed to be elected over, say in, in my state of Uttar Pradesh, over five members of the, gender, of the local assembly. Uh, so five people got in uh, and there was one MP at the top of five people. So there were five people, often the trends were such that five people or majority of those five people belonged to the same party as the MP. So that there was a, there was a collective uh, approach by which you handle problems of the constituency, but now that's gone. Elections are held at different times, the five people are often, often of a different party altogether. They have no affiliation to the MP. MP has to therefore work on his own. So he has to do the work of five people, etc., etc. The five people are often distracting from his work and so on. And expectations have become so high that the purpose of the MP to look at public policy and look at legislation for national welfare is taken a back seat. And just doing odd jobs to solve people's everyday problems has become the MP's basic, basic concern. Uh, so that the whole role of the MP therefore re needs to be redefined. Then there are the general problems about castes and, and community affiliations, about role of money, role of, of muscle power, etc. On which the electoral reforms have worked to a certain extent, election commissions efforts have worked to a certain extent, but we still know that the problem, the problem remains. The other thing, of course, is in Parliament, improvements have been made in functioning of MPs by introducing the standing committees, in, in, introducing, uh, introducing the scrutiny of legislation by standing committees before the MPs need to consider for a vote, etc. But really, in first pass the post system, where an MP can win, MP can win having uh, a minority of the vote of his constituency, is a problem and this is becoming more of a problem as time goes on. And therefore, uh, we need to think about switching to something different. Now, many countries in the world have first, not first passed the post system, but they have a proportional representation system or what's called the list system, so that you don't have to, to carry the burden of winning an election on your shoulders alone, but it's the percentage of vote that your party gets and in the manner in which that vote is reflected on your party list, uh, the party list being announced at the beginning of the elections, will decide whether you are treated as a winner or you're not treated as a winner. Uh, Germany has a mixed system. Some people come on the party proportionate vote system. Some people come first past the post system, meaning that there are some people who have specific territorial constituencies and there are some people who come on the national grid so uh, I think India needs to examine some of these some of these issues. There are problems that MPs face, genuinely face, and the expectations of them are so great that the number of MPs that come back after the first term is generally generally diminishing, and the role of the party is becoming more important. The role of the MP is getting diminished, etc., which I don't think is good for democracy. Okay. MPs are uh, nowadays supposed to take a lot of local issues rather than uh, taking uh, local, issues. Local, I mean, local as like down to a ward issue. Ward issue. That should be what? What do you have? The third level of democracy where you have ward ward members elected. If they don't attend to that, what the That's poor MP and, and who will then attend to issues of public policy that we are now talking about? Larger issues of legislation, larger issues of national interest.